In this section we're going to be looking at linear laws and what I want to do first is to do a little bit of revision on straight line equations and we're going to do this by trying to find the equation of the line that goes through the points 420 and 1448. You need to have this skill ready and waiting for you when you're doing these types of problems so that's why we're doing it here just for a little bit of a recap. So first thing you really want to do is determine the gradient of the line. And the best way to do that sometimes is to draw yourself a little right angle triangle. Now, the difference, um, the gradient, sorry, of a straight line is the difference in the y's, the y coordinates, divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where this is x1, y1 and this is x2, y2. Yeah, I mean, you can label them around the other way if you like, um, but it doesn't really matter. So, we have m, the gradient, is 48, take away 20. Okay, so that's the height of the triangle, divided by the base of the triangle, which is 14, take away 4. So you get 28 over 10, um, which is 2.8. So that's the gradient of the line. So we currently have an equation that is y equals 2.8x plus c. And I want to find the value of c. Now to do that, you can either substitute in the coordinates 420 or the coordinates of 1448. It doesn't matter which. So I'm going to substitute in 20, uh, 420. So 20 is equal to 2.8 times 4 plus c. So if you work out what 2.8 times 4 is, which is 11.2, uh, and then subtract that from 20, which is 8.8. .8. So c is 8.8. .8. So y is equal to 2.8x plus 8.8. .8. That is the equation of the line that goes through those two points. Okay? Now you can put those into fractions if you like. Um, I've put them as decimals um, mainly because what we're going to be looking at for the most part is real data. And sometimes it looks better for real data to do that. If these were recurring decimals, obviously I'd have them in fraction form, because I want to be able to write them exactly.